This tutorial series is going to be on making a mini screen. I think it's probably going to be a three part series, maybe four, I'm not sure. This first part is going to be on just basically making the logo. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Word or PowerPoint, insert Word Art, and pick which one you want. Uh, I'm making an army game, so I'm going to go with this one. Well, I'm not really making an army game, but just for this tutorial, I am. Uh, you can pick which again. You can pick whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna call my game recruited. Okay. And then next thing you want to do is change the font to match with your game. For instance, I'm making an army game, so impact would work best to go with an army kind of theme. Next thing you're gonna want to do. I mean, you don't have to, but I like to add some kind of shape in the background. So I'm going to go with a, just a basic rectangle. You could do like an arrow or a star or something. You don't have to. You can just leave it as a word if you want, depending on your game. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so you're going to drag the rectangle over. Then right-click on it and send it to the back so that the words cover it. And then you can change the format to match your game. Like I'll do probably black and red because that looks cool in my opinion um what you're gonna want to do is just print screen either way just print screen then go into multimedia fusion and insert object you can do a back you can make it a backdrop or an active depending on whether or not you're gonna move it I'm gonna make it an active just in case I want to end up having it move around or something so right double click on the object and uh, delete the try the diamond thing. Then press Control V or paste whichever. And then zoom out here. As you can see, since it was pure black, what MMF2 does is it it's a little bit different than most things. Most things they make white be automatically uh uh like gone. But with MR2, it's black for some reason, which I think is kind of dumb, but it's I didn't make the program, so um, so you can just fill that in back in with the uh, black from over here, and then you're gonna want to crop it first. Just do a regular crop by selecting that, then cropping it, and then crop it even further by filling in the outsides with this empty space here, and then cropping it again. And then with a lot of the shapes, you're going to have a little leftover white on the sides. So you're going to want to make that, delete that. Some of them might be more than others, so this might take a little bit longer depending on the shape you chose. Or even sometimes with the letters, if you didn't choose a shape, sometimes the letters fade out a little bit, so you're going to have to do that. Uh, the reason you do that is if you want a different than white background, you have to do that because otherwise you'll have little white on the sides and it won't look very good so now I can choose my background by going clicking on frame 1 over here in the workspace toolbar then going down to properties and clicking on the background color here and then I'm gonna go with uh, this gray will work you could like have a picture or something if you're again if you're a good artist you could put like some kind of picture that you make with paint in the background or something or maybe like the like for instance, if your if your game is like has a background to it, like for a eight directional game, if you have like a grassy background, you can just put that in the background or something. Or like uh, if you have a platformer game, you could put like one of the sceneries from the back in the background here, and maybe you could like have it scroll through the screen or something using a path movement. Uh, but I don't have anything like that, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. Again, you're going to want to spend probably more time on this with your game, but this isn't a real game, so I don't have to spend that much time on it. Uh, that's, enough, that's all there is for the logo. It's pretty simple. Uh, next tutorial will be on the first form of, the first type of selection, selection of whether you want to go to like tutorial or play or two player or whatever. Um, so, good luck.